Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, welcome to episode 10 of season 2 of Supernatural. I'm really excited to jump into this episode because I mentioned it in the last one, I took a bit of a break in between episodes to do the reading vlog, and then Crow Tower was great, but we'll get into that in a second. I'm wearing my Pizza Planet hoodie, it's just a hoodie that, I don't know if I've ever actually worn this on the Supernatural before, so it's like Pizza Planet from Toy Story, I'll show you the back briefly. I don't know, I hope you can see that. <laughs> But yeah, I love Toy Story. I love most Disney and Disney Pixar films. So it's funny, last year I asked for this, Christmas, uh, this hoodie for Christmas. I ended up getting the same hoodie. Well, it's like the same hoodie, but slightly different variation of it from my mum and my boyfriend. So I have two of them. Um, but yeah, it's really comfy. And kind of what I love about some, uh, winter is that it's hoodie season, as you've probably known from all my videos recently. Especially where I wore the hoodie. I like wearing hoodies and just being comfortable. Last episode, like I say, was Crow Towing. And I thought that episode was pretty great. Really good, I actually thoroughly enjoyed myself and it's not that the episodes before that were bad like crossroad blues was good usual suspects were good but i feel like crowtown for me in my opinion i just enjoyed it more than those i think maybe i don't know something about the storyline and the mystery and the town and what's going on who can we trust that i just thoroughly enjoyed this episode is called hunted again that's one of those generic titles that could mean anything so i don't really know what to guess what this episode's about hunted someone is hunted <laughs> uh i, I don't i don't you couldn't even guess what this one's about so let's jump into the reaction if you enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel let me know down below what you thought of in the comments and hopefully all being well the next episode you might be able to watch a full reaction of over on Patreon, if my plans go to plan, that wasn't good grammar, if all things go to plan, but we'll see, I'll keep, give you an update as soon as I know fully what's going on with Patreon, let's jump into Hunted. Don't be afraid, Scott, you can tell me anything, you know that. Okay, Doctor, I will. Whatever you say won't leave this room. It started a little over a year ago. It looks a bit like he love Ben's Amelia then. Then I found I could do stuff. What do you mean, do stuff? Stuff? Psychic stuff? I have this ability. Okay. When I touch something, I can electrocute it if I want. Oh. Did it to the neighbor's cat. <laughs> Is this another one of the kids that we're looking for? Inside's fried up like a hamburger. He wants me to, and he doesn't want me to stop there. Who? Yellow eyes. The yellow eyed man comes to me in my dreams. They're going hardcore with the storyline of the season, aren't they? Things, awful things. He has plans for me. Kind of plans. Bad ones. <laughs> and I want to know what he's doing with his kids. Oh. Oh. Right. No. Uh. Part of me. Oh no. I want to say that's Gordon. Before Dad died, he. I don't know he why. He told me something. He kept his identity hidden for a reason. He wanted me to watch out for you. Take care of you. He told you that a million times. Well, this time was different. That nothing else mattered. And that if I couldn't, I'd... You'd what, Dean? I'd have to kill you. Yeah. <laughs> he said that I might have to kill you, Sammy. For those who don't know why I'm not reacting more, watch my reading the vlog. It got spoiled for me in that one. <laughs> what the hell is that supposed to mean? I mean, he must have had some kind of reason for saying it, right? How could you not have told me this? Because he was dead and he begged me not to. Who cares? Take some responsibility for yourself, Dean. You Ooh. have no right to keep this from me. You think I wanted this? Huh? Debatable. Okay. I wish to God he'd never opened his mouth. <laughs> that I don't turn it into some kind of killer? I never said that. Jeez, you're not careful. You will have to waste me one day, Dean. I never said that. Damn it, Sam. This whole thing is spinning out of control. <sighs> All right, you're, you're immune to some weirdo demon virus. Right, I am a Sam person normally. Everybody knows that. I get criticized for quite regularly. Please. But Sam's being a dick. I get part of it's probably from fear, but Dean's done nothing wrong here. Oh, what's going on here? Oh. Vision, I presume. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, what the hell? Oh, 
Hi, Catherine, Isabel. <laughs> God, that's another. That's two psychic kids in one episode. Yeah. Okay, so hunting is someone hunting down the psychic kids and killing them. Hey, your brother's been calling. Worried sick, looking for you. Yeah. Figured he might. What's going on between you two? A lot of shit. I forgave your daddy a long time ago. For what happened to my bill? I just don't think he ever forgave himself. What did happen? Um, so, why did you come here? Maybe that's a story for another episode. Other people, other psychics like me. As many as possible, and I need a nationwide search. You've not done this already? I thought there was no way to track them all down. Oh. Not all of them had nursery fires like you did. Well, no, but some had to. True. There. True. But I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely surprised they wouldn't have done this already. I gotta call Dean. I gotta let him know where you are. Ellen, I'm trying to I like Ellen. About who I am. She's trying to protect everybody, I think. And my brother means well, but he can't protect me from that. Please. I would trust Ellen. I'll, I'll let her have my back. Because she might be a little stubborn at times. You said you went to high school. But she just wants the best for people. Uh, <laughs> I am excited when we actually get more of Yellow Eyes because uh, if it's the same actor at least he was really creepy and cool it's going to be Catherine Isabel because she saw Blue's Pine Mot Blue Pines Motel on the yeah, on the little note he had you're in danger I saw this guy die days before it happened I don't know why, I don't know, it's just some reason my dreams are coming true. And last night, I had another one. You think I'm a total nut job? Wait, no, 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 I, I mean, you must be one of us. Sorry, one of, one of who? <laughs> one of the psychics, like me. Look, Ava, I have visions too, all right, so, so. He sounded so, so cheesy, he sounded like a cult then. <laughs> So, you're nuts. That's great. No, okay, okay. He did come across a little crazy town then. Even though she was telling him about a vision, just the way he responded. I mean, there are others like us out there. And we're all a part of something. And I gotta figure out what. Okay. You know what? Screw you, buddy. Okay? Because I'm a secretary from Peoria and I'm not part of anything. Okay? Do you see this? I am getting married in eight weeks. I am supposed to be at home addressing invitations, which I am way behind on, by the way. But instead, I drove out here to save your weirdo I'm a bad ass. Finish, she's gonna get killed. But if you just want to stay here Always and haunted. die, fine. I need your help. So, Miss Wilson, you're new in town. That's right. And what made you decide to seek out therapy? I have no idea. No? Yep. Oh. So, Sam, so. Holy crap. What? You okay? Am I okay? Yeah. <sighs> I just helped you steal some dead guy's confidential psych files. I'm awesome! <laughs> he says there's a war coming. And people like me, we're gonna be the soldiers. Mm -hmm. Everything's about to change. I don't... God. Get down. Oh, God. Oh, I told you it was Gordon. That isn't right. This a hole. You do that to my brother, I'll kill you. Yeah, I talked to Ellen. Just got here myself. It's a real funky town. You dished me, Sammy. Yeah, I'm sorry. Look, um, right now there's someone after me. What is it? My brother's in trouble. Well, you think this is revenge? Well, we did leave you tied up in your own mess for three days, <laughs> which was awesome. <laughs> sorry, I shouldn't laugh. Yeah. <laughs> I was definitely planning on whooping your ass for that. Mm -hmm. That's not what this is. I don't think I should leave. I want you to do the whole way, Ava. black and white thing that you did in Bloodlust. Arms just sees it really as me. good. Oh, you are walking right into my vision. I mean, this stuff. is how you die. Doesn't matter. It's my brother. Maybe I can help. 
You've done all you can. Just, just go back to your fiance. See, I was doing an exorcism down in Louisiana. Damn thing muttered something about a coming war. And I don't oh. think it meant to. It just kind of slipped out. But it was too late. Piqued my interest. This demon tells me they have soldiers to fight in this coming war. Humans fighting on hell's side. You believe that? This demon said I knew one of them. Our very own Sammy Winchester. It's like Minority Report. Do you punish someone for something they have not done yet? Oh, this is... I don't think you should. Level of moronic, even for you. Like his minority report, yeah. it was something they were definitely going to do. This one's not a fact. I know. About a month ago, I found another one of these freaks here in town. He could deep fry a person just by touching him. Yeah, did he kill anyone? No, besides Mr. Tinkles the cat? No. But he was working up to it. He could be right, that means but Sammy too. you shouldn't kill someone for something that they aren't. If you actually kill someone, fine. The front door. I get it. No, I wish I didn't have to do this. I really do. But for what it's worth, it'll be quick. <laughs> I don't like him. Like, oh, I don't want to go into it too much because uh, I'll talk about it at the end. But I'm surprised at you, Dean. Getting all emotional. I'd heard you were more of a professional than this. If he'd have killed Look, whatever his name was let's from see, you were cruising Simon around said, in the car of yours. Fine, he was a murderer. And, uh, you had little but, Hitler riding shotgun, right? Back when he was just some goofy, crappy artist. But you knew what he was going to turn into someday. You take him out. No questions, am I right? That's not Sam. Yes, it is. Has there been any guarantee that these people are going Dean, to be soldiers? It's his I know that's what the demon wanted for them, but I don't know. Maybe I'm, I'm just missing something obvious. <laughs> well, that won't have been Sam. Not yet. Drop the gun. A-hole. Because I want Gordon to die because I can't stand him, but if Sam kills him, it does kind of prove he's a murderer. I just kill it. Ugh. Show your brother the killer you really are, Sammy. I'm conflicted. I let him live once. I'm not making the same mistake twice. Trust uh, me. Gordon's taken care of. Yeah? Come on. He's right there. Ha! So he just let him live, which I f is fine. But yeah, what the hell is God taking care of? What? what? Oh, nice, nice. Drop your weapons! Get down on your knees! <laughs> I still think he's gonna come back at some point. I'll take him out of action for a little while, but I feel like at least before the finale, he'll be back. a nice kind of legal way to get him out of action for a while and to get him off the field and out of the way without actually killing him. Dude, you ever take off like that again? What? I'm sure it'll happen at some point in the next 13 and a half seasons. So not funny. <laughs> All right. I mean, whatever's coming, I'm taking a hat on. So if you really want to watch my back, then I guess you're going to have to stick around. Bitch, jerk. <laughs> what? Just a feeling. Uh oh. oh I don't want her to die. I like her. Uh, oh, oh. Oh my god. Why would she kill him? I, I presume she killed him. Hey. Sulfur. Demon's been here. Hmm. Ava. Uh, okay, so either Ava's dead 
or been captured by the demon, or either killed the husband, or the demon killed the husband. I don't know, but either way, I don't like it. <laughs> I like Ava. I actually really liked her as a character all the way throughout. She was kind of cute, kind of funny. And like she went to tell Sam about the vision. And then Sam's like, yeah, I have a vision too. She's like, you're crazy. I liked that. And it was just a good twist that Sam was in the vision rather than having the visions for a change. That was a nice way to turn things on its head. But I just thought she was a nice character. She got involved. She wants to be more involved. So where is she? What's going on? I hope she'll turn back up again before the finale. I feel like whatever plan is coming to fruition with these psychic kids, it would only make sense that they would have some that we've already met. Because say the plan comes to fruition in the finale or whatever, like I presume it will do, or something's going to happen with it in the finale. It would be nice to have characters that we know, like from like the other episode, like maybe not Max because Max killed himself, but that, like you say, like Max and... Ava and someone else, whatever. It would be cool to see them, like a group of them, like all our side characters coming together that we've met. That kind of thing. That'd be that would be awesome. But it's it's kind of crazy that from season one, where majority of it was Monster of the Week with little tidbits of ongoing storyline stuff, that this episode and the one before it, even though it, the one before it, we didn't realize till the very end, have both been about Yellow Eyes and his plan moving forward and psychic kids and the plan for them to build like an army it's great and it's exciting and i don't want every episode of series two to be about it because i do love a monster of the week episode like the clown one uh no exit for example was great but i am enjoying more a focus on the main storyline that does give me like i always say like buffy vibes where it's maybe not half and half main storyline and, and monster of the week but there's a good ratio of each so it's exciting to see that it's more of an impact so it probably means that the finale is going to be crazy like the season one finale was crazy because it brought up like meg was came into it again and the dad and the yellow eyes and we met him finally and uh <laughs> it was a really good episode i i don't like gordon and i think i probably talked about it throughout enough but to kind of wrap up my thoughts it's not that i don't see why he's doing what he's doing because I get it from his point of view. He thinks in very black and white terms. You're either human or you're not. And if you're not you need to die. I kind of get that. Because on the most part monsters are evil. And his probably experience in life has proven that. Where he is like more of a villain to me. Is that he's willing to just gun down. Anyone that's in his way to get what he wants. And. I did, compare it to Minority Report. My Minority Report was different in some ways. It was like. I mean, Minority Report, they could see the future and say, right, you're going to murder someone, so now we're going to take, we're going to arrest you before it happens. Whereas, with prophecies and all this stuff in shows, there's room for manoeuvre, there's room for people to not do what's prophesied, or when it's like a destiny thing. There's always loopholes and ways out of it, ways around it, or ways that it might not come true. So that's why I find it hard to kind of justify killing these psychic kids that might be murderers in the future because they might not and I can't see Sam being a full-blown serial killer after series two he may do some stuff that's going to be bad but I, I don't know don't spoil it for me we'll see but I just find it questionable his he's killing these people that not necessarily going to be murderers if he had killed that guy from Simon Said I would have been fine with that because he killed the doctor with the shotgun. He killed the woman at the petrol station by setting herself on fire. And, well, the doctor got right in front of a bus, actually. But, you know, he was a serial killer. And he planned to kill more people. He planned to that girl to jump off the dam and other things. So that I would have been okay with. But people like Scott, yeah, he killed a cat. He may put up to more, we don't know. But Sam isn't the murderer as of yet. What I do find interesting is that the Yellow Eyes appears to be coming to certain people and speaking to them. So he spoke to Scott and he spoke to the guy who was the evil one who's called Andy in Simon Said. Why hasn't he gone to speak to everybody? Why has he not been to speak to Ava? Well, he's been to visit Ava now. Why has he never been to visit Sam to talk to him to say, do this for me, do that for me? That's interesting. And I'm sure there's probably a reason why that will come to fruition. But it does intrigue me that he's appearing to some people but not others, which leads me to believe that maybe, <laughs> which leads me to believe that maybe some people are more susceptible to becoming murderers, and Sam's not, 
which kind of puts Gordon's thing into perspective a little bit. And it was great that Sam didn't kill Gordon, because I think that would have just proven Gordon's point that Sam's a murderer. But I like the fact that they got rid of him, at least temporarily, by just kind of alerting to the authorities that he's a they're shooting a random shooting all over the place and he's got all these weapons in his car which is probably illegal so some really exciting stuff there and i'm excited to see the next episode i think the next episode will be halfway through series two again it feels like i'm flying through this i'm probably not for for you guys that are watching it you're probably getting like sometimes it's like oh, weeks between each episode and i'd love to be able to put it out more often i would but as i said before in 2021 my amount of videos that i'm going to put it out at least initially will decrease just because of work situations um, but I will be launching a Patreon in the new year to try and combat that. So in the sense of if people are generous enough to support me on Patreon, the more that do, the more I might be able to reduce my hours at work to put out more content. And it, it, it does that make sense? Like a ratio, whatever. Yeah, it made more sense when I made the video for it. That would be coming out in the new year once I've got my stuff sorted for Patreon. Depending on how long that takes. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that reaction and that episode. I re- I thought it was a good episode. I really enjoyed it. Not my favourite, but I liked it. And it's exciting to find out more about these kids. I love Catherine Isabel. Don't like Gordon. Can't stand the character. But I have no doubt that he will make another appearance at some point. Let me know what you thought down below of the reaction. And as always, my name is Scott. Hope you're well. Take care of yourself. Staying safe. And I hope you all have a quite a nice new year. My new year is going to be very quiet. I'm not leaving the house. I'm working New Year's Eve and first thing New Year's Day. So I'm not going to be going anywhere. But I don't mind. I'm more of a Christmas person than New Year, New Year, so hope you all have a good time. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you all in 2021 for the next episode of Supernatural. Bye, guys.